Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing perhaps the best buy in contemporary dive watches. The Rolex Oyster Perpetual Submariner Reference 16610 in stainless steel. You can see and you can purchase this late model Rolex on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right-hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch, with additional accessories included in the sale, high-resolution images for your desktop and naturally complete pricing details for this Rolex 16610 Submariner. Now, while it has been succeeded by the Sub-C, many believe that this watch represents something of a sweet spot in Rolex Submariner production. A product of the 2000s, it's a Y-series watch after all. It features the white gold dial applications, the gloss black dial without any signs of premature wearing, crazing, cracking, or patina. It features abundant case metal with wonderful definition. This is a watch that's in many respects, due to the 93250 bracelet, the kind that fits and wears like a traditional Rolex, and of course with the drilled lugs, easy to swap onto a strap like a traditional Rolex, without the cumbersome bulk some don't like in the sub C. Nevertheless, it's a serviceable modern Rolex with the same 3135 caliber that's still used today, and of course, being modern and not a true vintage timepiece. You can actually take it in the water and use it for diving as Rolex and Hans Billsdorf would have intended. The watch, of course, being a nice combination of 40 millimeters across the round of the case and quite compact from lug to lug. Now, of course, the 40 millimeter measurement on my 16 centimeter wrist plays smaller than the current 40 because it doesn't have the super case profile. I mentioned that it's easy to swap this one onto a strap because of the drilled lugs. That's a fact. If you were to put it on NATO, it would measure a compact 47.5 millimeters from lug to lug. But because, again, this is a sort of crossroads watch between the vintage era and the modern era, it does feature a solid end link 93250 bracelet, the solid end links extending the wrist to 50.5 millimeters horizontally across the forearm. It has substantial heft to it, not quite the colossal bulk of a modern Submariner, but it also doesn't have the cumbersome flared lugs of a modern Submariner. If you're not into the super case and the sub C, you'll definitely be into this watch. You can see everything about the case is outstanding. What's polished is supposed to be polished. What's satin, likewise, delivered, beautifully rendered, and largely intact from its early 2000s heyday. This watch is a little bit of a time capsule. You can see the bracelet in outstanding condition. You can see that there being very little play despite the march of years, and the clasp is still in good condition as well. You can see internally the folded members still feature crisp internal text as well as reference numbers. This watch is in outstanding condition. When you close the clasp, of course, you can see that the crown on the underside, always the bellwether of refinishing and wear, remains beautifully defined. There's plenty of metal left on every aspect of this watch. Now, like I said, this represents something of a sweet spot for modern collectors. It's a vintage -y watch in feel, but it's a modern watch in specification. Of course, inside is the Rolex Caliber 3135, 45 to 48 hours of power reserve. It's a 28,800 vibration per hour beat rate, full balance bridge with a free sprung index for shock resistance and precision. It features a Breguet overcoil hairspring for resistance to gravitational or positionally induced timing deviation. That's the advantage of a Breguet overcoil. COSC Swiss chronometer, thanks to screw down crown and screwed in case back, it has 300 meter water resistance. If you must go saturation diving, you'll want the Sea Dweller. Everyone else, this is your watch. Beautifully defined dial, pre-maxi dial. You can see the indices in white gold, as well as the hands at center matching in white gold. This is a watch that is a purist's timepiece to be sure, but with the addition of the date, it does have that extra degree of practicality. There's a quick set for the date, so you can rapidly cycle it to correct, and of course, pull the crown to extremity. There's a hacking function, so you can stop the seconds and synchronize the watch precisely. You can see this Rolex 16610. Remember, this watch being a Y-series, and purchase it on our website.